Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today and I am super excited to go over this ultra clean, very good looking, very nicely equipped 2023 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Short Box Big Horn Level 1 with the Night Edition. This is stock number 14871Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck and Ram headquarters this 2000. 23 Ram 2500 has the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. It's paired up with the six speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. This truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. Probably one of the cleanest Ram 2500 trucks we have on our lot right now is this truck right here. This is a clean title history, clean Carfax. Uh, technically a two owner out of Tennessee and Kentucky, even though the second owner only had it for 28 days. Not really sure why. Um, maybe they bought it to sell it. I don't know. But anyways, uh, so kind of a one owner truck and it is really clean. I'm going to go all the way around in this video inside, start it up, take a look in the hood, go underneath, show you all the options and give you the most accurate representation that I can of the vehicle. Bright white clear coats, color paint coat is PW7. Shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, and have access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing vast and heavy-duty truck inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. The Night Edition gives you the low-gloss 20-inch black painted alloy wheels, and it has Open Country Toyo AT tires. These are LT28560R20s. I would say that they have probably 80, 85% of the tread left on them, maybe even 90% of the tread. Frame and underbody is exceptionally clean. Definitely advantageous to get a truck out of Tennessee. So this thing has been uh, 3M wrapped on the front fenders, the hood, the front grill area, and the front bumper. You can kind of see right there. And then it is also wrapped from this body line down. So it's got 3M rock guard, um, clear guard on it on the front and down the lower rockers. So that's a pretty nice uh, selling point on this truck, uh, especially these night editions. They can get a lot of rock chips and that 3M rock guard is definitely gonna help that from not happening. Anyways, front bumper, no dents or dings, very nice and clean. You get the front bumper parking sensors. You get the blacked out Ram grill. The hood is in excellent shape as well. I didn't see any dents or dings on there. Looks really good. And remember, this is also wrapped. And the passenger side front fender, no major dents or dings on there. Passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes. And as you go down this side of this 2000, and 23 Ram 2500, take note of how clean the body is. And once again, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful and that Brett sent you and you can actually see where that 3M wrap ends right there on this lower rocker. Um, and it goes onto the box side here as well. And there's the line where it ends there. Back wheel's in excellent shape as well and the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. Once again, that frame is like new back here has all the remaining factory exhaust, so it hasn't been altered in any way. It does have amp research power running boards, and the lower rockers are absolutely perfect as well. Somebody definitely really liked this truck and took good care of it and added some nice aftermarket running boards to it too. Passenger side box, absolutely perfect. No dents or dings coming around to the back. The rear bumper's in excellent shape as well. You get the backup parking sensors the full towing package, which includes the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And the tailgate is in very nice condition as well. The night edition gives you the blacked out Bighorn Ram and four x four logos. 
Comes with a factory spray and bed liner, I believe it's factory. Uh, fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package, four pin and seven pin wiring back here as well. That spray and bed liner goes onto the tailgate and you get some side box tie downs. Tailgate shuts nice and solidly. Coming around to the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No dents or dings on the box. And for full disclosure, this back wheel, excellent condition as well. Like I said, this is probably the cleanest Ram 2500 used we have on our lot right now. And, um, you know, we have a lot of Rams, so that's definitely saying a lot for this truck. Uh, this one has the telescopic tow mirrors. They're heated um, on both the blind spot and driver's mirror or main mirror. And then you have LED side lights, side lights on the mirrors back here. They telescope out like so, and they do fold in. I don't think they're power but uh, they do manually fold out or telescope out. You can see the driver's side running board is working nicely. In the back here, the Bighorn Level 1 package gives you the dark charcoal and black cloth interior. You get the rear defrost, fixed glass window, latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. These seats do fold up. Uh, no longer standard is the load floor in the 2023 and 24 Rams, uh, just the storage area under there. It does have the factory all-weather floor mats and you get in-floor storage underneath here with removable bins for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there. It's like you have two mini coolers wherever you go. You know, if you're not in Wisconsin, just extra storage space. You get uh, cloth bolsters, wood grain trim on there, and child safety locks on the back doors. Up front, the Bighorn Level 1 package and I do apologize, these mirrors are power. They do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so you know that both sides are working properly. And then they do power telescope out. So um, I apologize for that as well. You can see they go out like so and in, out. And I like that you can adjust them kind of exactly where you want them and in. And then you have power blind spot mirror as well. You can see that bottom mirror, you can control that, which is really great for the passenger side since it's not easy to control that while you're in the driver's seat. Up front, the Bighorn Level 1 package gives you the same dark charcoal and black cloth interior, bucket seats in the front, no rips, no tears, side curtain airbags. Smells very clean inside this truck. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. Power driver's seat with lumbar. And both of these front seats are heated. You get all weather floor mats up here, auto headlamps, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Let's hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. You can see this one has 13,726 miles on it. You do get a digital speedometer, as well as a time display instrument cluster. It's very nice and clean. Comes with the heated leather-wrapped steering wheel, cruise controls and gear selector on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls in the back. There's your shifter for the 68. RFE automatic transmission. And there is your Uconnect 5 8.4 inch touchscreen radio. Has the factory navigation system. There's Highway 41. I believe that's powered by TomTom Tom, and it's supposed to be five times faster than the old radio. When it comes to the navigation, you get all your different sources on here. AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB, and Alexa. And you get your climate controls on here, including the dual climate controls. And then you have all your different apps on here. I'm not gonna go through everything, but a lot of this stuff is just links to different parts of the radio. So there's all your media controls, comfort controls, nav, phone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I believe those are wireless now. Uh, you get your vehicle options. It has off-road pages, which I'll show you in just a second, because they're pretty cool. So you get your pitch and roll, latitude, longitude, altitude, accessory gauges, and vehicle dynamics as I turn that wheel. You can see that the tires turn up there and the degree changes. And then your transfer case if you're in too high, four high, or full low. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with the radio. Down here, your more tactile volume tuned and climate controls, dual climate controls, heated seat buttons, heated steering wheel controls, factory brake controller, factory exhaust brake, tow haul, and front and rear parking sensors. You can turn those off and on. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, and your keyless entry with remote start. You get the sliding cup holders and a tray right there, and dual glove boxes, passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition. Smells very clean inside this truck. Like I said, I don't think it's ever been smoked in, and the headliner is in great shape as well. Map lights up there. 
assist in SOS buttons, and an auto dimming mirror. Let's start it up and take a look under the hood. I also want to show you those headlights because somebody has put LEDs in there. You can see it starts up nicely. No check engine lights or anything like that other than my hood's open. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. Hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality condition options and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around and hopefully you enjoyed the video too. Try to make these as digestible as possible and uh, it's easy when they're this nice. Under the hood we have the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine, engine base, very clean. Runs very smooth. Once again this truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change, all the fluids have been checked and topped off. There is the emissions sticker. And this truck is 100% ready to go. I would highly recommend it from a quality and condition standpoint. I would ship this one anywhere, back to t Tennessee, back to Kentucky, California, uh, New York, Florida, Texas. Whoever's gonna get this truck is going to absolutely love it. And uh, I would ship it there today, no questions asked. What you see is what you get. Like I said, cleanest truck, used Ram on our lot. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs, if not the largest act, catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube, over 9,500 videos and counting. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left. A link to all the Ram 2500 truck videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean, like new 2023 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Short Box, Bighorn Level 1, Night Edition, and Bright White Clear Coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great day.